Hey guys, Alexandria here and today I'm super excited to be sharing a fun collab with you guys. It is both a collab video uh, with the fabulous Bailey B as well as sharing about the collaboration between Ofra Cosmetics and Jen Loves Reviews here on YouTube. So I'm going to share some swatches, some mixing, give you all of my thoughts. So if you're ready, let's do it. So first things first, this is a collab with the fabulous Bailey B here on YouTube. If you haven't checked her out, you definitely should. She is awesome and super authentic. She is exactly the person when you meet her in person that she is on camera, which I feel like sometimes can be kind of rare. So she's spectacular. If you haven't checked out her video already, go check that out. It'll be linked below. If you're here from Bailey's channel, hi, welcome. I'm Alexandria. All right. I'm babbling too much. So Jen's collab, Jen Loves Reviews here on YouTube. She is fantastic and is also such a super sweet, genuine person. Editing Alexandria here. Just wanted to let you guys know that these products were sent to me in PR. And she came out with a collaboration between Ofra Cosmetics. It's called the Metamorphosis Collection. So in the collection are three liquid lipsticks, okay? So there's kind of like a light shade, a medium shade, and a deep shade. So the first shade, is Revive, and this one is a pale neutral with peach and pink undertones. Then you have the shade Refine, which is a neutral mocha nude with mauve undertones. And then you have the shade Reimagine, which is a deep neutral mocha brown. So the idea behind this collection is that these are supposed to be transforming lip shades that you can use with other lip products to create your perfect shade. The trio, which is all three of the liquid lipsticks, retails for $50 or you can purchase them individually for $20 a piece. So if all of these don't seem appealing to you, then you can certainly pick up just one if one of them is the most appealing to you. And I'll tell you which one for me, I think if I was just getting one, I'll tell you at the end which one I think. So they go on pre-sale July the 20th and then they will be for sale individually on July 29th. And both of those are at 10 a.m. EST. So if you want to pick them up, you can do the pre-sale on the 20th, which should be the day this video is live. And then if you want to pick them up, not on pre-sale, that's going to be on the 29th at 10 a.m. on Ofra's website. I suspect based on Jen's like fan base that this will be a pretty popular collection. So I'm really excited about it. So now what I want to do is I just want to go through and show you guys some of the lip combinations that I came up with. talk about these liquid lipsticks as you saw I showed you kind of a couple of different varieties of ways that you can use them I've used them with glosses I've used them with liquid lipsticks and I have used them with lip liners and things like that when you use it with a lip liner it just kind of becomes a standard liquid lipstick so and that doesn't really help you very much but overall I think this is a fantastic idea I kind of think it's genius and I had so much fun playing with these I could literally spend hours sitting up here in my makeup room area, like creating combinations with these. So I think it's super fun for those of you who are makeup enthusiasts and like that sort of aspect of it. I think it's lots of fun to play with and create new combinations of lipsticks. But for those of you who, you know, don't have that many lip combinations or different lip colors, this is a great way to kind of create more lip colors with a smaller collection. So in that way, it's kind of good for both audiences, which I think is really smart on both Jen and Ofra's part. 
is that it's a very well-balanced collection in that way. The way that I have found works best is to use like a mixing tray. This is a nail thing, but I have a mixing tray somewhere. Who knows where it is? But a mixing tray has just kind of been the most foolproof way for me to mix these together. Otherwise, like if I want to do just like an ombre lip in the middle, I will apply the lipstick and then apply the liquid lipstick in the middle and do kind of an ombre effect. But if you want to use these not as an ombre effect, I like to kind of mix them on my little mixing tray here and then apply them to the lips with a lip brush. Otherwise, I just find that they are a little on the messy side. You know, when you're playing around with makeup like that, you can, things can get kind of messy <laughs> when you're kind of doing all that sort of mixing and matching. The other thing to note about this liquid lipstick formula, if for some reason you're not familiar with the Ofer formula, is this is a fairly comfortable liquid lipstick formula. It's more drying but not like fully matte so you're not going to get quite as long of a wear time and certainly if you're mixing it with a regular lipstick or a gloss you're less likely to get as long of a wear time so just keep that in mind these are not like stay all day liquid lipsticks that are super uncomfortable and drying on your lips but it depends on kind of what you're looking for if you're the person who wants a liquid lipstick that's going to stay all day these may not be the best option for you, but if you're somebody who likes a more comfortable liquid lipstick that stays really well, but not necessarily foolproof throughout the day, then you might like this formula. I personally really enjoy the Ofer formula, and I think it smells really good for whatever that's worth. So overall, I would 110% recommend this collection to you guys. If I were only choosing one shade, I would probably go with the lightest shade, or I would go with the deepest shade. So. I would probably go with either the first shade or the last shade, uh, which are the colors Revive and Reimagine. I like Revive, which is the lightest, because oftentimes I purchase lipsticks that are too dark for me, and I think they're going to look cool and vampy, and then I get buyer's remorse, and I never wear the lip color because it's too dark. So I think this is probably the one I will get the most use out of. But I also think when I accidentally buy nude lips that are too light for me, I'm going to get a lot of use out of the shade in Reimagine, the deep brown shade. I do love the shade Refine. This one I think is if you wanted to wear just a liquid lipstick on its own and you don't want to have to like finagle with things, this is the one I would choose. So overall, I think it's a fantastic collection. I think it's awesome what Jen has come out with with Ofer Cosmetics. I'm so excited for her. So if you guys have any questions or anything like that, uh, please be sure to let me know in the comment section below. And if you did enjoy this video, I hope you will click that thumbs up button. And of course, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye.